In this video, we're going to be downloading a PLC program to an Allen Bradley Slick 500 processor. We have already determined that we need a 1747 CP3 cable to do this. If you need help selecting the cable, then here's a link to a video on doing that. We will connect our cable to the PLC and PC. In our case, we're using our USB version of the 1747 CP3. If you need a cable, then here's a link to ours. Then open up the RSS file which you wish to download and also open up RS link so we can configure our DF1 driver. If you need step-by-step -step instructions on setting up the DF1 driver then here's an article that shows you how to do that. We'll select COM3 which is the COM port of our USB to serial adapter and click auto configure. This will take it through every possible combination of baud rate and parity. Then we will click OK and close. This finishes the RS Lynx configuration and we are ready to go back to RS Logix 500. In RS Logix 500 on the top menu bar we will go to comms then system comms. There are other ways to get to the download dialog but I like this one especially for those starting out because from here you can choose to upload, download, or go online. And remember unlike the internet in PLCs we download to a processor and we upload from a processor. We will navigate to our DF1 driver, then select our processor and click download. It will ask us to verify that we want to overwrite the existing program. In our case, we didn't select the correct processor, so it will also fix that. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the automation store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.